All right, I want to cover a couple things in this lesson. Uh, Lewis dot structures is the first thing, and then using the Lewis dot structures to show how ionic compounds form. So I always start with the most basic, uh, sodium and chlorine forming salt, sodium chloride. Now the Lewis dots basically includes the symbol, so Na for sodium, and then instead of showing all the 11 electrons, you only show one electron for sodium since there's only one valence electron. So it's sort of like a slim down Bohr model. And all you would do is show the sodium symbol with one dot showing its one valence electron that it's looking to lose. Remember, metals will lose electrons. Chlorine, on the other hand, has a total of 17 electrons, but of those 17, only 7 are on the outside, or valence. So remember, these, even though they have a lot of electrons there to begin with, are looking to gain electrons. So simply, Lewis dot structure for sodium is one valence electron or one dot. You can get that a couple different ways. The easiest way is look at the periodic table and look at the column. Column number one, one valence electron. <clears throat> if you count across, chlorine is column 17, but we never count the middle, so it's basically 17 minus 10, or 7 valence. Now to show the transfer, you would indicate that that electron over there is being donated. So in a sense, you get a final answer of NaCl. Or if you wanted to mark the charge after this has donated an electron, Na is a plus 1, Cl minus 1.